So I'd like to open the October 12th Woodbury Select Board meeting. 10. We're starting at oh, 6. Oh, it's 12. 6. <laughs> eight, <laughs> eight, 10. We're starting at... God, my, my gracious me. All right, so we'll have to make some adjustments to <laughs> this right off the Where bat. Are we? We're going to start the 810 meeting of the Woodbury Select Board um, at 8.08 8, 6. p.m. So I will call the meeting to order. Are there any adjustments that we have to the select board agenda at this point? We I, do. I have one. Okay, so I'm going to let Diana, Diana go first. Oh, probably the same one. Um, uh, I have her down here for 6.15, Maverick Murphy. She can't come until 7 o'clock. Okay. So we just have so we'll to adjust that. That's fun. Deal with her when she gets here. Mm -hmm. Michael. So um, I've been having some conversations with some a couple of the families on Maple Lane and they want to come in and talk about um, the road crews plans for the road. Mm -hmm. I, I let Chuck know I talked to Chuck about this this morning so maybe in the road report um, we can get some information. At, at the last meeting I was tasked to talk to one of the um, landowners there and I did and um, so that's all I have to add. Okay. All right, so we are, without hearing further adjustments, we're open for public comment. Yes, ma'am, please. Just read this one, please. Would you address yourself? Oh, yes, I'm Retta Dunlap, a resident here in the area. There have been political signs stolen from people's lawns here in Woodbury and around the state concerning Prop 5 or Article 22, which is on the general election ballot. I do not care which side of the issue one is on. People taking political lawn signs they do not agree with ought not to be done. I view it as stealing property. Over the, at, or at the very least, they're stealing someone's voice. And I know sometimes that the state highway crews take signs out of the right of way, so try to place your signs far enough from the road so that they do not feel the need to do so. Anyway, this article reads Article 22, Personal Reproductive Liberty that an individual's right to personal reproductive autonomy is central to the liberty and dignity determines one's own life course and shall not be denied or infringed unless justified by a compelling state interest achieved by the least restrictive means. I have questions about this amendment and I bet other Vermonters do too. The language of Article 22 is broad and undefined. Members of the House, Senate, Legislative Council, and the Attorney General's Office all stated that it would be up to the courts to decide what the proposed amendment language will actually mean. So I have a question. Does it mean a man can exert his personal reproductive autonomy and determine his own life course over a woman when they have conceived a child together and the woman is contemplating abortion and the man wants the child? Could the courts rule in the man's favor and force a woman to bear a child? Or more specifically, will the courts be deciding whose personal reproductive autonomy is respected? Currently, this defaults to the woman. Article 22 doesn't say women or abortion. It has no age limit or gender specification. Since this is now left up to the courts to define, I want to know, would this grant a right to whatever reproductive autonomy means to minors? Will children now be able to make adult, irreversible decisions without parental involvement and under the influence of peers and adults unknown to parents? And because of this, the compelling state interest, what if the legislature wants to grant personhood to viable fetuses after 24 weeks gestation, taking into consideration the life of the mother as paramount? Will this amendment prevent that? Do we want to have in our Constitution an amendment that is very hard to change in which viable fetuses have no protection? even the protection from the pain they will feel when being aborted. Even with the overturning of Roe v. Wade, Vermont has a 1972 Vermont Supreme Court case that protects abortion all nine months. And in 2019, Vermont enacted a law that protected abortion access through all nine months of pregnancy. Without this amendment, abortion access in Vermont is not going anywhere. So for these reasons, I will put out my political lawn sign that says vote no to Article 22 and hope that there is enough respect in the world for others to not steal it. I promise I will not take theirs. Thank you.
Thank you, Red. Thank you, Ms. Dunlop. Do we you appreciate keep it. These? I mean, we would take advantage of it. Okay. If you want to have that. I know this is not the dentist link here, but don't, you can have don't, it. Don't we're, we're not, but anyway, that's great. Anyway, thank, thank you, Ms. Dunlop. Thank we you. appreciate yeah. it. Have a good meeting. You as well. Bye. Additional public comment. Here goes our public. <laughs> Here goes our public. Okay. So uh, we are going to shift Maverick Murphy yeah. until 7.15. Is that what we said? So, well, 7. Or 7-ish. She gets, she thinks she can to. get here by 7. She has a soccer okay. game. So we'll shift that. Um, where are we with bills and payroll? There is none today. Brandy has COVID. Okay. So she'll be out of the office all week. So what send we were, us this email yeah. a few little while ago. Okay. A few little while ago? Yeah, yeah earlier this, this, this late afternoon. afternoon. Yeah, I'm afternoon. sorry. I, I, I did not see that. No, so that's great. So what we are going to do is agree as a select board to approve bills and payroll orders after the session has finished. Okay. What I would prefer is that, um, you know, Brandy doesn't really have those for us, We, and sh but she will have them at some point in the near future. Um, and usually in situations like this, what she would have us do is go down and we would approve them by reviewing them there and signing them. I, I have a hard time approving a bill that I haven't seen yet. I We cannot I approve was... anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want any approval of any of these. Mm -hmm. And to go in and pr approve them outside of the meeting isn't great either, but we got to do well, something. That's, that's, what, it's, that's what happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah right, exactly. It's not appropriate. As long as we aren't all three there together, I guess. Well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we will. So would you like to yeah. make a motion, Michael, um, to say it in the way that you would like to say it? Well, um, okay, I'll try to. So I would make a motion that the select board approves the bills and uh, payroll orders um, when uh, Brandy is is with us again and can prepare them for us and, and we can sit down and review them. So and uh, collectively we would approve them by our signature um, on on the warrants that she would pre prepare for us. That's a long-winded motion, but that's <laughs> kind of the gist of it. Second. <laughs> I'm not going to approve that because you have asked Brandy to be a present when we were doing this. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Which I don't agree with. Okay. Did I say that? You did. I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't. I didn't realize that I said that. So, I, I same think motion. What I said was when Brandy is able to present them to present us. them. That sounds great. Or make them available. I make them available. Okay. That sounds lovely. All right. So I will make a new motion to say that we will approve these independently as a select board when they are provided to us by the town treasurer. I'll second that. All those uh, approved? Fine. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Any nays? Great. Okay. So we're going to have to move past all of that. Do we have minutes we do have from minutes. the last meeting? No. Have we signed them? No. Okay. They look fine to me. So we will review these as a select board and sign them immediately following the meeting okay. after having reviewed them. Okay. That's good. All right. We have to move on to the town clerk's report, Ms. Durkee. Okay. It's Gearing up for the November election, Secretary of State has sent out the absentee ballots to 673 voters. And then the ones that go up to the 700 and something are the challenge voters. So they didn't get a ballot. They will have to come in and sign an affidavit oh. and all of that. Yeah. And within the next week or so, so Secretary of State will be sending out a postcard to all of the voters saying that the ballots have been mailed out and if you haven't received one, mm -hmm. to come to the office and mm -hmm. get one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. That's too, I mean, it was nice when we sent out something to everybody, including the 
challenge voters because they would come back. And then we would have a further clue as to whether these people were still right. around or not. But it's otherwise, it's kind of a waste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And the recording is pretty much up to date. I think I got five things to record for that. And they're all cleaned up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's right now things on are, quiet. Mode. Things are all right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Things are all right. And this is great. Okay. We are early, so we don't mm -hmm. have Alan because he's not going to be here until 6.45. Mm -hmm. And we don't have Chuck. He's not going to be here until 7. But, Michael? I'm here. You could yeah. address this, even though we're early on our agenda that mm -hmm. was published. Okay. We could address this, and we'll have to make an amendment to our overall agenda because mm -hmm. we're addressing it at 6.18. Mm -hmm. And not 710. But yeah, if you wouldn't fine, mind sure. addressing this, no. that would be great. Um, so I was just wondering, I kind of wanted to, to bring up the discussion again about um, doing the energy conservation work at the at the town office. We've had the um, energy audit done mm -hmm. um, and uh, we do have some ARPA money kind of designated for that. Um, so requested for that. I, I'd like to to see what was recommended in the energy audit, um, you know, to have that happen before, if we can get a contractor to do it um, at this time of year, um, before winter mm -hmm. sets in. Sounds reasonable. What's our best approach to that? What do you think? Well, um, I guess we could find out if there is a contractor available. Um, that would be one one thing that we would need to do, um, and then the the audit pretty much uh, outlines the work that should be done. Um, and I don't know if what was asked for with the ARPA funds would totally cover um, what it would cost. It, there may not be a cost assessment with the audit, so we would probably want to do that also, um, probably with the contractor that we. Well, there was a choose. there was a. There were numbers. Were there provided numbers? There the were numbers that were provided. Right. Okay. Right. Now, Robin, did he go in the attic? No. He didn't go in the attic, but I had just been in the attic with the, all the bat stuff that was. No, going I mean out. at the town office. Oh, I don't know about that. I wasn't there for that. How do you get into the attic at the town office? Up above the toilet, there's a hatch. It's a hatch. Oh, I don't a, a hatch know. A <laughs> I don't know if he did or not because <laughs> somebody was doing something in the little breezeway. Well, that was the blower door. He oh, did okay. the blower door, but he's recommending going up in the attic and taking off the down the out the floor and whatever other debris is up there, if any, and blowing insulation in mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. There's a good chance he was up in there. Yeah, I, w I would imagine he was. I mean, I think Brandy kind of was the tour guide for that um, when he came. Mm. Okay. It seems like we need some more information. And the rest of it seemed to be like foam and, and on the basement walls and yeah. closing yeah. up that, uh, tightening up that bulkhead door, which is a sieve. And mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, we'll just okay. I'm sure I've got it here in the file. But okay. So we have to review that. Mm -hmm. Thank. You. Sounds good. Sounds and I can, I can contact the Efficiency Vermont person and um, see if they could suggest a different uh, contractor if the other contractor is unwilling to or not wanting to do the work, um, which right. he did indicate to us after uh, He's the, done the board initial board assessment. Yeah. The select board meeting. And I might try to reach out to the contractor and just... Uh, Maybe see if I can apologize and have um, see if he would do the work too. But. So, Michael, are you willing to take that on? Yeah, I'll, I'll take can this you? on. I've got, I've got, um, okay. I've been, you know, emailing the efficiency Vermont person, and and I have this contact and, and dialogue with the contractor from before. So, yeah, I'll I'll pursue that. And make a note to call contact Norman, whatever he said okay. about the basement person. Okay, right. Yeah, someone who knows all about basement stuff. Yep. Yeah. Super. Great. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Michael. 
So Alan's here. Alan, we're running a little early. Good. <laughs> Do you mind uh, jumping in? No, not at all. All right, so it is your time right now. Well, I, I guess you all brought my letter. I won't be thank, thank you for the letter. Thank you for the letter. Very well written. Appreciate that. And terrific. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to keep to the facts and not get mm -hmm. like, personal about mm -hmm. it. But um, basically, I, I mean, I feel like it's just like a real slap in the face. It's pretty blatant. It seems to be a violation of the zoning ordinance because I, I went through zoning ordinance. I don't see how there's any. <laughs> It doesn't seem to be any use at all for anything under three acres that's allowed. And if, right. if I go through the ordinance, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Minimum depth, you know, frontage, I'm sure there's a million miles of frontage. Um, but it says three acre. And I'm looking, okay, house, dwelling, camp, da, da, da. everything on that list in the zoning is, I don't yeah. know what else it would be. Yeah. What else could you use it for? There's a, when uh, Coleman first bought that land from Dennis Ainsworth, Ten or more years ago, it was an illegal transfer. At that point, it was, for some reason, not followed up as an illegal lot, an illegal subdivision, because you shouldn't be creating a lot. But I yeah, think I, probably they I, thought whoever was in charge at the time probably either didn't know or figured it was never going to be a building lot, so it didn't matter. It was just going to be a little road. Yeah, but then it ended up being okay. a, a lot that nobody thought that. So that would happen. It like, sir, so it seems it seems to me that what we really need to do is have our zoning administrator um, take a look at this and come up with um, you know Alan has listed different things that he found in the ordinance. Um, I think that Bob should meet with Alan and they should um, that uh, Bob should. Um, I, I'm, write a violation notice. Yeah, I'm thinking that they, I don't know if the procedures, but I, I would guess well, that it would be something like you give them a notice, like if so many days you have to fill out this form, yeah, or I don't know, and then they yeah. do or they don't, and then if they don't, you go to them. Yeah, the trouble is that judge. they haven't built anything. Yeah, that but they're living there. I know, matter. I know, I know, I know. And there's, and there's other people doing that too. I know. Dogs and pets, and they're walking the road, and they're tearing up the road, and their pets are in the road, mm. leashed in the road. Mm. So, I mean, I know they're not doing anything, but that's anything, just but what like, makes it difficult. Even I think I don't know the primitive camp anymore. I know, like I've heard from different people around the town and outside the town that you know, it's three weeks, three months. We, you know, it's just some kind of vagary, but. I think I've been told that some towns have like a strict application of that particular law, or they've modified it a little bit. But I, well, I can also tell you that Woodbury has a hasn't. state level. I don't know if that's true. The 60-day uh, primitive <laughs> camp <coughs> exemption was put in the law, I think, 2007, when the state took jurisdiction over all septic systems in all towns. Oh. And um, that was to allow people to have their hunting camps. Right, right. But it, it, so, so it, but it does get abused in other ways, too. People think that as long as they're not going to be there more than yeah, 60 I, days, they can do whatever I, they want, and that's really not what is intended. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't really know what the procedure is. just that something kind of has to be done. Like, yeah. the, yeah. dog is, I mean, the dog's annoying enough. Like, I just got home from it. Well, we do have an animal control officer. That's yeah. another That's another avenue I mean, that we can pursue. I, I drive my driveway. He's been barking for uh, 20 minutes, and I came down here. And every time someone walks by, drives by, I go to the end of my driveway outside when my nose. <laughs> well, that's what dogs do. That's the news. Yeah, he's tied up in doors, which is even yeah. after the dog. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right to me that they're like living there. I don't even know if they're aware of. Um, so I like the zoning ordinance. Maybe they, someone has to deliver it. I'm sure you know. I'm sure that they're probably not aware of much of anything. I mean, obviously they got shanghaied by uh, right, right, an unknown person, uh, unmentioned person. But <laughs> um, but I think you know. I think we need the town needs to try to figure out because this is happening a lot in Woodbury. We need to figure out what we can do. I mean, we do have a health officer now, and if there is human waste in bags, um, you know, I mean, there are things that we can try to do. Um, maybe we need to spend some money on a lawyer and just, which I do not want to do, no. but. You know, they did, 
I did call like uh, Consumer Protection Attorney General Office, and after two or three weeks, someone finally called back. It was a long time, probably three weeks. Mm -hmm. And I told them, and I kind of told them what was going on. And um, she did, well, she directed me to where all your stuff is on your website. And then mm -hmm. also she mentioned, the cent she said the Central Vermont Planning Commission might very well be able to help out. I can. I know and who I can. Link and stuff, and maybe okay. I know some. I know who I can ask there to and to or find out if that's advice, true. You know, maybe there's like a form right. letter, like you know, cease and desist, like that kind of thing. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll find out what what they're able to. I think that oh, and there was to, one more to do. I can't remember the exact name of it, but I'll send it along. I forgot to, to paste it in. Uh, I think it was it was some kind of real estate development board or. Something or other that seemed to have some type of uh, membership or licensing or something for real estate developers, and I don't know if it applies to what Paul mm -hmm. Don are doing. It's kind of like two separate things. Like they seem to yeah, be aware okay. that they weren't couldn't build there. That's the other thing. They weren't aware. Thank I, goodness. I, I talked to the zoning administrator today, and I said, "What did you tell these people?" Did you ever tell them that they could build a yurt or something because they were talking about that at one time? And Bob said, no, he didn't tell them about that. Mm. Did not he, tell them about that. He didn't them. lead them astray. I was probably just waiting for them to do the paperwork. I mean. Well, like I said, that you need, whether you need a permit for a camper, I don't know. A lot of people have campers in their yards, but yeah, they're yeah. the ones that are living out there. And then the other thing problem. really about also is the vehicles are dangerous. Like, um, there's already been like a little minor accident. She was backing out as I was pulling in one day and she actually backed into her own car. Okay, mm. whatever. Um, but it's on a blind corner where they parked it. One's, I think, broken down, so mm -hmm. it's like stuck there. And it's in the mm -hmm. road. There. I have mm -hmm. pictures of you. I mean, it's right there. And then every night they park behind that, so um, they're blocking the road and it's chewing that road up like considerably. And uh, it's just like, why are they, you know, they're taking over the roadway. So are you going to plow that? Do you plow that for yourself in the winter? Well, you know, last winter the snow wasn't very bad, and mm -hmm. um, I, I used to shovel it and park at the top. Yeah. I'd shovel a big space out, and then mm -hmm. the neighbor with the, the plow came. And he was shoveling actually both ends of the spur road and the other end of Old Coy Road. Mm -hmm. so, like Elizabeth likes to park up there, and then I'll park mm -hmm. there at the at the you know at the top of the spur road when it's not plowed. Uh, maybe Jezebel in a, in a bad weather, and, and myself, and that's about it. And you know people come to visit, and the people just walk down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, we're talking about doing like a plowing thing because everybody wants to be able to get. You think any of them will participate? Um, Jezebel's talked about okay, well, it. Let's not worry about winter. Yeah. Or, uh, let's yeah, it's really like stay focused on why we're here. I don't know. It's like, some, like a little rock or something that's like splitting the road because it's the Spur Road, Old Corn Road, and then Old Cabot Road. And they're right there in the middle. And like um, the gravel truck came, and they came a year ago, and they brought a whole bunch of crushed stone for the driveway and foundation. <laughs> no problem getting in and out, in and out the same exact driver. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know if I can't remember the guy that was a company. And um, gravel construction. And um, this time you had to back up as you turn around and back up as you got stuck. Mm -hmm. And those cars were difficult for him. When was that? Just like last week. Okay, couple, after, after, all the, after all the rain. Because that area mm -hmm. where they're parking is a very wet spot. Oh, gosh, yeah. yeah. So I can see why right. the gravel truck would have gotten stuck in the mud there. Mm -hmm. But yep. probably yep. it has been chewed up from them using it too. But. Mm -hmm. Um, and you state all that in the letter, which is yeah, great. Yeah. So what I think what we need to do is just figure out what I we can do. I, don't, I mean, I don't want. I've heard. Help. I've heard you say all this before. Yeah. I read it in your letter. I don't right, need right, to right. listen to it again. I think right. um, I'd really like us to figure out what we can do to try to um, help this situation. I don't. May, is there legal aid that these folks could get to maybe try to uh, get their money back and move on, or? Um, I don't think you should worry too much about that stage. It seems to me like it's a, a multi-pronged problem because it's like right. them I'm being trying there, to look at the different the whole prongs. sales thing yeah. seems really like I mean, maybe complicated or something. Well, I'm sure it is, but and the character of all it, it might always spur gets them to do something. Also, I mean, I have my own like complaints with Coleman, but which seems like a lot of people do. And if you know, then they get on board. I yeah. did read in the state law when I was going through like wastewater stuff. 
if you sell a piece of land and you know that it's not going to be suitable for a wastewater system, that's, there's a very special sentence that has to be in the deed. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, it's mm -hmm. like a bad deed. So I don't know about the, I didn't examine that deed for that property, uh -huh. but that might be something to look at mm -hmm. because that could be another like, aha, wait a minute, mm -hmm. <laughs> this deed's invalid. Mm -hmm. we'll send it back to Coleman, and then maybe that's the easy way. I, I have no idea. I'm not okay. Well, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out a way to help mm -hmm. these yeah. people. And maybe so, the planning commission people have ideas, you know. I'm sure other towns are going through similar. Well, other towns are going through similar stuff. Yeah, that's for sure. Alan, thank you for your letter. Okay. And your All comments right. are really helpful. Very helpful. I think that we're going to try to move forward on this. Okay. And make sure that we understand exactly where we can get our best information <laughs> right, to move right. it forward as a right. select board. Okay, good. No, I'm glad you guys are and, But we're sure. definitely aware of this, okay. and your yeah. letter is very helpful. Okay, good. good so. Good. Thank you so much. Yeah, and like if Bob wants to get together sometime, just you know, like email or like phone number. Even. Sounds good. Like Does we have yeah. a? I think yeah. I think the public health is going to be. I think we're going to have to have mm -hmm. multiple different entities right. involved. But we just need to make this work to yeah. contact a bunch of people mm -hmm. and find out what's what our options what our, are. What yeah, what our next best steps are. Alan, thank you. It was nice Saturday. Appreciate it. It seemed like nobody was there. I got to sleep till 8 o'clock. Whoa! <laughs> nice. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Bye. Bye. Yep. All right, so, Michael, I'm sorry that if we cut you off, mm -hmm. we have nothing else for ARPA um, associated with energy conservation. Well, it sounds like we're going to relook at the audit, uh, contact, um, I'll contact Efficiency Vermont and talk to this guy about. Um, you know, and try to get a hold of uh, the other the contractor who did the audit and see if he would be willing to do the work. Um, okay. And then so I'll contact Norman Edkin about the. Um, he had mentioned a person who, who does great basement work to Diana. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So so yeah, um, I'm gonna, I'll take so the. I don't know who Norman Edkin is, but it sounds mm -hmm. like it's a person. Yeah. Who He's, knows something about basements. He knows mm. something he knows about a lot of things. He knows a lot about energy. He yeah, that sounds great. Expert. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to okay. take advantage of yeah. our local knowledge and yep. move forward with that. It is still early for Chuck to be here, let but our on. road report... Is he coming? Or? You know, I don't he know. He said he was. Well, I spoke I, with him I this morning, but don't. something could have happened. All right. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And um, so we're going to have to wait on that. Yeah. And we've got our energy management director search that, update. That's another mistake that I made. It should have been the emergency management director Yeah, search. that makes more sense to me. And my so God, something's we'll different. have to make another correction to our agenda, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is fine. But this should be our emergency management director search update. Can we do that? Mm -hmm. I think so. I just, you know, um, asked for that to be on the agenda as kind of a follow-up. Um, uh, you know, I think we were going to contact the fire department and see if they would be willing to. Um, we have, and we up. have had no responses no response. as yet. Okay. But mm -hmm. we will continue to reach out. Okay. And I will take care of that, mm -hmm. reaching out. And then I'm glad Diana did put in the other vacancies because maybe we could just talk about that a little bit and, and see what we could do for a um, PR campaign to, to find some people that might yeah, be interested. I, I just put it in there so we can keep putting it out there mm -hmm. and uh, let people know that we still need a lister. We need a zoning board member who's willing to be the chair. We need an auditor. I think there and, are others. <laughs> um, it would be great. I mean, I'm, right now I'm the rep to CV Fiber, um, mm -hmm. but it does conflict with, for some reason, they and the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission have their monthly meetings on the same night, mm -hmm. pretty much at the same time. Um, so it's hard for me to do both, both of them. I usually mm -hmm. go to the one that's earlier, starts at 6 and stay till about 7 and then jump into the other one. <laughs> after it's already started. That's what I've done the last two times. 
Um, but if somebody else were interested in being the rep to CV Fibers, somebody who's a bit of a geek and a... Mm -hmm. Michael, what is the date and time? It's the second Tuesday of every month that they meet, starting at 6. Um, and I, you know, have been seeing trucks in town. Um, mm -hmm. I've been doing some yeah. more surveying. Um, and I can tell you um, that they do plan on putting up CV fiber in their first installments in two parts of Woodbury. I'm not quite clear on mm. where they are. Um, I'm going to try to find out. But So, I, you know, it's, I think it would, it's a CUD, um, which is basically a collection of communities supporting a union district to, to get high-speed internet to everybody, no matter and where you live. We've also put $50,000 of our yes. funds directly into that program. So mm -hmm. it would be good to have so somebody from we Woodbury should have somebody on with that board. On that board. Yeah. Um, and I'm fine with doing it at um, the moment. Um, Sounds like it's not perfect, though. It's not perfect, no. Okay. So we can and add I'm not that much to our of a list. techie mm -hmm. or a geek oh, either. So when, when these guys get to talking, I, I just to. listen. <laughs> Some of them are. are this, it's a pretty interesting board. There's a lot of knowledge there. Mm. And some, uh, I used to like so. being on some of those regional boards, meeting mm -hmm. some different people. Yeah. Now there. I don't like to go out at night, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> And is, is Jane still the rep to the Central Vermont Solid Waste District? No, Chris is. I am. Chris, oh, good. Okay, so we do have somebody there. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. I can't think of any other others that are. So we, we could, usually a Lister, a Lister is elected, could the select board appoint we one if someone was interested? If someone wanted to okay. volunteer, they could. They could. Okay. They could volunteer. We can. Mm -hmm. Just for one year. Yeah. Well, just until town meeting. Town meeting day, right? And, and that would be true this for year. auditor too, as well. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So they are a temporary appointment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. until they can be elected. Yep. Ron is going to be up next year. Ron Wells. Mm -hmm. So right now is who Ron and Bob? Yep. Yep. The auditors. Is that one of the positions that doesn't conflict with, let's say, town clerk, town treasurer? That might with the town treasurer. Probably so treasurer. Treasurer. Well, I don't think it's not listed that. With a lot of it's, things. It, yeah, it's not really designed that way, but mm -hmm. it would hypothetically conflict. There is a. a I have somewhere. I have a list of. I got conflict. it at the office. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The treasurer has a lot, a lot of potential mm -hmm. conflicts. But yeah. The treasurer has sure. a significant number of conflicts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I could see where the town clerk might, or someone mm -hmm. might perceive. I mean, I'd be curious to. We don't really, yeah, we have to look back at So Robin has, yeah, look yeah, at that list and see. Look at, yeah, we have see to look at it. it. I'd be curious to know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, based on our agenda, we have some time between when we were expecting our mm -hmm. town road report and at now 7.15. Maverick, oh, yeah. Maverick. Hmm. So Can we I have some time. Yeah. Yes, please. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed the orange cones that are down on the other side of the handicap sign by the town office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been going past the town office when it's not been open, and there's been cars backed in. Uh -huh. So that's why those orange cones are oh. there. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of hanging out going on in the parking lot. So there sure is. Some of it's a little and spooky. Two oh, weeks great. ago, Thursday, yeah. when yeah. we were leaving the office, Pam came super close to getting hit. Mm -hmm. So I sent an email to transportation, seeing if we could get a sign up that says blind you know, drive. And I talked mm -hmm. about this before, back when Paul was on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember. And I sent the email that Thursday. Mm -hmm. And they were in the office on Monday saying, yes, there will be a sign okay. put up, but it will probably be between two and three weeks before they actually get out here to put the sign mm -hmm. up. Because I pulled out of the parking lot and um, there was a car coming up that I didn't see and it blared the horns at me mm -hmm. like I was, 
it was yep. going really fast. Yep. Um, yeah, it is tricky. And, yeah. and this mm. highway person suggests that we go through the church parking lot and go out the There's upper more. drive because mm -hmm. we have a better sight there. Right, a lighter there. sight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little... And a little more distance. Fraction of a right. second might yeah, make a difference, yeah. Mm -hmm. But she came very close to being hit that day. Mm -hmm. Pam. Pam. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I had somebody very mad at me, but... He was very mad at Pam. <laughs> <laughs> he was flying right along on the 14th. So. Mm -hmm. As people tend to do. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, matter of fact. Speaking of which, I wonder when their regional planning commission is going to take up those tubes. Oh, they're still out there. They're still out. They're I don't know. Up a week. Are they they're still, still out. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Still well, I'm getting two weeks worth of data. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to get a bunch of data <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> if we can actually see it, that'll be even better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, with this, with this, you'll actually get a printed out report, either digitally or on paper. That doesn't sound really? so bad. So that's another person, another volunteer we need is someone who can figure out how to download the traffic data from our. So I actually, science. I will volunteer for that. Really? I am really <laughs> curious about that data set. Oh. And I'm also on... Laura Daly um, did it know, once. I'm so. hanging I was going to say, Tim might be able to help, too, because he's had to do something with Timmy will, signs. Tim will help us, for sure. But can do I can, process, but I can yeah. process the data. Yeah. And um, yeah, Tim has fixed I'm, that one sign twice now. Twice. Right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you to Tim, mm -hmm. which we've never said thank you to. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> but no, I'm willing to get that data and try mm -hmm. to process it. Um, Maverick, we're a little early. Mm -hmm. Would you mind no, just jumping in? Okay. A little um, early, a little late? Yeah, somewhere so in between? I've yeah, got but, my computer. Okay, I have a monitor here that we could look at, and I have my computer with your email. I could, if you wanted to make the map work, or so if you want to. So it'll be on the screen? It'll be on the yeah. screen. That's the idea. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Is that all right? Look at and uh... yeah, that way we can sort of look at it as. Mm -hmm. um, so do you want to plug in your Ooh. pad to here, or do you want to just have me bring up the email with a link? Uh, whatever is easier for you. But it's up. It's all hooked up, and I do mm -hmm. know how to run this stuff. So mm -hmm. sometimes. <laughs> all right. So. The only thing the lights might kind of wipe out the screen. So. I'm going to use the battery. Mine's, I can plug this too. Okay, well I actually can plug in over here too. Um, okay, now we'll, we'll trust the battery. It should be fine. Okay, so let me get the email. For a minute. Let's do that. And that's this one, not that one. How was your game? It was good. We won. Oh, good. Overtime. Congratulations. Three Great. Two. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank you. It was a tough one, but... What's it? Yeah. Pretty too close. They score, and then we score, and then they score. But... Well, oh, congratulations. Well, the audience got to enjoy that. So. Mm-hmm. And we got to ring the bell and everything, so... <laughs> Neato. <laughs> nice. Neato. Okay, so that should come up on the screen. I'm going to sit out here and you're welcome to manipulate that any way you want. Can everybody see that okay? Pretty much. Yep, I'm good. Well, thank you for inviting me. My name is Maverick Murphy. I started this map in the winter of 2020. I presented it to the select board in February 2021 and the planning commission in March of 2021. Um, I started it in hopes of enriching the town website uh, and I use resources already on the website as well as outside ones um, and kind of combined it all into one compact kind of resource. Um, so I use Google to create this, which is a free online platform, and I believe the town would be able to use it under their terms and conditions. Uh, I'd like to thank the Select Board and Planning Commission for approving this and providing resources, Skip Lindsay for pointing me towards the 911 mapping services, Diana Paduzzi for helping me while editing it and also providing resources, um, and then Eric Moeller, the president of the Mountain Tamers, 
mm -hmm. for helping me with the bass trails. So looking at this right now, we've got the sidebar over here with the seven main categories. So those are Woodbury Town Sites and Attractions, Lakes and Ponds, Businesses, Class 4 Roads and Trails, Bass Trails, Historic Sites and Structures, and then Historic Districts. So up on the left here, these three dots, it's just more information from Google, not relevant to the map. Um, but up here, we've got this little search icon. And if we want to look up any keywords in the map, we can type them in and they'll pop mm. up. So, I don't know, fire department. And then the fire department will pop up there. Mm. Um, this arrow goes back to the map. And then these three dots are just more information on sharing the map. So if we want to look at the first category here, which is Woodbury Town Sites and Attractions, we can click on this box over here. And you see that the sites pop up on the map over to the right. Um, and to expand these items underneath this category, you just click that 16 and more. Yeah. Um, so to plot most of these, I used uh, the town sites already on the map on the Woodbury Town website. Uh, but I also took some more and added them, like the Woodbury Town Forest and a few others. Uh, so if we want to look at, at an example, we can just click on this Woodbury Fire Department down here. Oh. And we see the icon is highlighted on the map. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I tried to use icons that kind of represented the item that they were corresponding with. So here we've got a little fire icon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then on the, si yeah. <laughs> on the sidebar over here, I included the address for most of these sites, as well as the website and contact information for the points if they have mm -hmm. them. Super. And then the mailing address. I don't mm -hmm. know if people wanted to make donations or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, and this little arrow up in the corner of the page here, can you see my mouse on the screen? Yep, you're doing great. Yeah. Uh, if we click on that, that will take us directly to the point, and it'll give directions if somebody, I don't know, wanted to visit it mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. know what the address of it was, even though it's already listed up mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. uh, so this arrow brings us back to the map. Um, and to collapse this category, we click that box up there. And the next we have is lakes and ponds. Um, so to plot these, I use information from the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department as well as the lakes and ponds study. So if we see this point up here, that'll just bring us to a list, uh, link to the lakes and ponds study so I didn't have to link it to every single lake and pond. Mm -hmm. um, so going back to the map, we can look at Buck Lake as an example. Um, since this was a lake listed under the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department, mm -hmm. I included a lot of information from that website such as boat size, um, information about the parking, and also the fish available in that lake. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's great information. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's great. Cool. And then if you wanted to see even more, does it have an access? Buck Lake? Yes. It has oh, yeah. A it has a permit. It has a permit. Access. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Fishing access. Fishing. Uh, yeah. Boat access. Well, boat access. Yeah. Yeah. Canoe or something. Small boat. And if anyone wanted to see the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department website for Buck Lake, I linked it at the bottom of this page. Mm -hmm. So Google allows you to embed links, and it'll take you to a separate page, just as an example. Mm -hmm. oh. Super. Um, so the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department did provide photos, so if you want to see those, you can scroll down to the bottom here where it says three photos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you click on those, pictures of it will come up. Nice. Um, for some of the lakes, the Vermont Fish and Wildlife That's Department. That's access. Mm -hmm. That is oh. the boat access, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's also a beach, but mm -hmm. no. it's it's just, not really yeah. supposed to land yeah. off the beach. For some of these, uh, the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department had a depth chart, so I included those mm -hmm. under photos. Yeah. People wanted to see those also. Uh, so moving on, well, we've got businesses. I took these off of mostly off of the Woodbury Town website, um, and I plotted the ones I could find the location. Wow, so a you, lot of them. You got a great list. You got a great list. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I I customized the icons for these as well. So we can look mm -hmm. at Silkwood <laughs> Kennels. I <laughs> have the dog icon, mm -hmm. and it's highlighted on the map. We've got the website for the business, the contact information, um, and then the type of business also. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. Uh, Fantastic. Yeah. The next one, class four roads and trails. I took a lot of this information from a VTrans map from 2021. Okay. And me and Diana, we figured out that a lot of them 
Mm. Well, slightly inaccurate, so I have to take oh. some of them off, but most of them are here. And then these, uh, the Woodbury Town Forest Trail and the Woodbury Wetland Trail, neither of those were on the v mm -hmm. map, but mm -hmm. I just, I use information. So if we want to look at Forest Trail, we've got a picture of the <laughs> sign for it, yeah, and then you can see the trail mapped out on mm. the map. Super. Uh, next, fast trails. Again, I used, I created this with the help of Eric, who's the, Eric Muller is the mm -hmm. president of the Mountain Tamers, and he helped plot, especially the club trails. Uh, if we click on that, we can see that it's there. So it's not on the Vast Trail website, mm -hmm. but it's an mm -hmm. ungroomed one that's still technically a Vast Trail. Mm -hmm. um, so Trail 14, just as an example, that's a big one that goes kind of parallel to Route 14. Mm -hmm. But I included trail number, the club and groomers, and the club contact, if anyone mm -hmm. wanted to. Oh, is that the, part of the rail trail, or is that off the rail trail? Uh, up that here, is, the rail looks trail. like some of it's the rail that's trail. That's the rail trail. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Some of them overlap, like the class mm -hmm. 4 roads and mm -hmm. the trails. And, mm -hmm. Depending on the season. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and then cool. historic sites and structures and historic districts. Both of those I used surveys that were on the Woodbury Town website for, uh, between 1981 and 1983. Mm -hmm. So here we've just got the register map and bibliography for all of the houses. This is just at the beginning. So each of them had a scanned image to go with the house mm -hmm. and also the main houses right here. Um, so we can see that. Oh, cool. Uh -oh. So yeah, there's a map of all the houses in Woodbury, if anyone wants to mm. And did right. you get this information at the town office, or? Uh, it's on the Woodbury Town is website. It, so it's, I on, yeah, it's on their website. website. Okay. Yeah. Scanned to the website. Hmm. Uh -huh. uh, so we want to look at an individual house. Some typewriter days. Yeah. <laughs> there was a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. Let's see. White Rock Inn. This was really fun doing, because mm -hmm. I, yeah. I, I learned Super a cool. lot. Um, so for each of them, a lot of them had different names depending, like the common name or the formal name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I included as the main name the name that was on this, uh, the register at the beginning of the surveys. Mm -hmm. And then I included the other names below that if they had them. Uh, also the address of the house, the style, the date it was built, and then a blurb about the significance of each house. Mm -hmm. oh, and then under here I included the pictures that were on the surveys. Mm -hmm. And then also pictures oh. of the surveys and the information if people want to oh, dig yeah. deeper. By the way, that one that I was trying to look up, I couldn't get the the, uh, the happy historic land site to to uh, open up at all on the website. I couldn't get it to open up. So yeah, yeah, I couldn't figure that one out. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. know what happened, but uh, and then lastly, historic districts. Also, I use the surveys for these. They're a little different because the houses are grouped into areas. Oh, interesting. So we want to look at the Fletcher Company Village. I use the outlining feature, the outline, like the border of the hmm. uh, site, and then I listed the significance and the area of Woodbury that it was in, as well as- Is that Flat Street? Yeah, yeah, it's it is Flat Street. So we've got Flat Street, and then under the Fletcher Company Historic District, there are six houses. I listed mm -hmm. under here. Mm -hmm. So if you click on an individual house, it'll bring you to more information about it, the original oh. owner and the style and the date oh. it was built. Oh, oh, cool. And then pictures of the house, if they had it. Some of them, they burnt down by the time the surveys were done, mm -hmm. so they didn't have mm -hmm. pictures or as much information. But, yeah. That is the whole yeah. map. Well, cool. And yeah. in the future, if any of you want access like editing privileges or anything like mm -hmm. that I can easily share it to you if it needs to be updated mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. future years. Having it available is just the most fantastic thing ever. Mm -hmm. So sure. to get that uh, accessible on our website how how do you do that? Uh, well up here let's see we can embed maps so when the time comes I can share it with you all have privilege to it, but I can mm -hmm. allow you to have editing privileges as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the map can be embedded on the website, mm -hmm. so it'll Tegan just... can do that. <laughs> yeah, Tegan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's dying to get into our website. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Great.
Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Do you have any questions or suggestions? I'm open to anything. I have a mild suggestion. Mm -hmm. So we have the nice satellite view overlay, mm -hmm. but we also have a geological map and a surficial map for our town mm -hmm. that we can get off the ANR website. Okay. I think those are on our website also. They're linked to our website, but mm -hmm. there's actually a version that you can use with Google. Hmm. That would be great. Yeah, that so, would be good to have. Um, I can show you how to use it at some point, but you okay. can probably figure this out on your own mm -hmm. without too much trouble. But It'd just be like an, another layer? This is just another layer. Yeah, all right. right. So you can do an overlay of, well, where is sand? Where is mm -hmm. gravel, right? Or mm -hmm. where is their granite? Where is their schist? And so, because we had that, we paid for all that mapping. Really? We did. Yeah. It's been like 10 years. You mean like Norwich did? Or? No. Oh, the state you guys did? Paid, no, you guys paid for it. Really? Yeah. You agreed to have a EdMap survey done for the town. Huh. Okay. Only cost you about $2,000. Oh, okay. We paid for the rest of it. <laughs> Right. So, uh, anyway, there's a great data set out there, mm -hmm. which yeah, could mean that we we could actually we could see it from not just like the land service view, mm -hmm. but what mm -hmm. people have interpreted to be on the ground or yeah. under the ground. That would be great. So that'd be kind of cool. So you can find it, mm -hmm. but if you can't find it, you're uneasy to get in touch with. Okay. Sound good. Sounds great. So I would love to have that in there, so yeah. people could see what their resources yeah. are on their mm. properties. Yeah. Do you have another granite resource that's available? Do you have mm. sand and gravel that's available? Mm. What's mm -hmm. your soil like? Mm. As best as people have estimated. Mm. So let's add it. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is perfect. This is the perfect venue to do it. Because you already set it all up. Mm -hmm. Let's add as much data as we can. Sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> Super. I love this. Yeah. I love the way you've developed this. this Thank is you. Yeah, no, it is really fantastic. I can't wait to get into it. Mm -hmm. I want to know about my house, actually. Oh, it's on here. Mm -hmm. yeah. I should. I, I hope it is. You want to you see go to my house? house? Yeah, I'm. I'm curious. <coughs> what do I not know about my house? I bet I don't so know. You don't want to know. <laughs> well, it's not haunted yet. You already know it's Just wait. Old. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> Stork. Um, yeah. It's over here, right? Yeah. Yep. There you go. This one? Yeah, it's that one. Bloom House. No. Is it that one? No. Nope. Not that one. This one. Prior Farm. Yes, there we go. Okay. Mm. The Prior Farm. Tool House, built in 1840. Yep. Whoa. Yep. The front of the house still looks exactly the same. Uh -huh. The barn doesn't look too bad. Mm. It's sagging a little bit in the middle. Oh man, I love it. This is great. <laughs> it's such a great resource that you put together. Thank you. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Speaking of different grounds, my son is building up on the Cabot Road. Yes, ma'am. And the ground there is so hard. Mm -hmm. it's, it's harder than rock. Mm -hmm. My daughter is just back this side on the Cabot Road, and there's just easy digging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. I can tell you why if you really want to know, but it's probably a conversation we don't need to, <laughs> to have during during the meeting. But yeah. I have an explanation for you. Okay. Yeah. I can't fix it, but I can tell you why. <laughs> if that helps you, Maverick, this is so it's great. Not gonna get softer. Right? So great. I think that's it. <laughs> no, it's not gonna get softer, I'm afraid. That's true. Great. This is so great. That is excellent. So terrific. Thank you. Was this awesome. a school project or was this something you just decided on your own you wanted to do? Yeah, it was over COVID. Me and my dad had been talking about it. I love history, so this yeah. kind of history specifically. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it started with the historical surveys, but it kind yeah. of built as mm -hmm. it went on. Yeah, and we can make it even bigger mm -hmm. if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be a great asset. Yeah, mm -hmm. super good asset. Mm -hmm. So, Michael, thank you for bringing that computer. Yeah. So we sure, yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, Maverick, if you do want to talk about laptop, like integrating sure. some of the geology, mm -hmm. if you can't, I, mean, I bet you can figure it out, but if you want to chat, All right. let me know. Great. All right, then we thank can integrate you. it. Otherwise, right. sound good? Mm -hmm. Wow.
Thank Terrific. You. That's so fantastic. What a great resource that we all of a sudden had that we never had before. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Maverick. And congratulations again on your win. Yes, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Ah. We still don't know don't know how we're gonna make it a link on our website, but maybe we should wait until we have a new and improved website. No, let's just oh. link it. Okay. Let's oh, yeah, get sure that yeah. let's yeah. let's get that done. That doesn't have to be a big deal. I clicked on the link on the a, email. So. Yeah, well, let's, I forgot to ask if she has that. a name for it. Well there probably is some Well we will reach out and make sure that it's linked to her because she's done all the work. Great. Okay. Nice. Uh, well, it is now past seven. Yeah. It doesn't look like we're going to get a town road report. Right. Mm. And it doesn't look like anybody has showed up from the Maple Lane. For the Maple Lane uh, discussion. Um, I mean, I could give you a rough gist of what's going on there. Um, but, I, I, but I can also say that... Um, uh, you know, after talking with Chuck this morning, it doesn't sound like the work that they're planning on doing there this year is going to happen this year. Um, mm -hmm. But there is one landowner that's going to need to um, not have vehicles in the road. So, and Chuck has talked to him about it. Uh, I mentioned it to him. Um, well, I think that that should be something that shows up on the next select board meeting for mm -hmm. sure. Okay. Yep. But, and the other, the other um, property owner was more concerned about. One of the things that the road crew wants to fix is on the um, Foster Hills side of the road, there's a lot of the road um, that runs into the road um, and then across and directly into the brook. So they're always having trouble with erosion there. Um, so they want to fix mm -hmm. that. And apparently there's some type of drain. Uh, but that's a hydrologically connected system. It is, yeah. So, yeah, can, so the drain, I work think, on that. there's a drain that's covered by another property owner that Chuck wants to open up, but I think it's going to need like a catch basin to catch that water before, before it runs, runs it over. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So then that, that's what the other property owner is concerned about is that, that we're going to ditch it and have the water run down that way that it not run directly into the brook. So it does almost sound like next year's grants and aid project to me. But it mm -hmm. sounds like at least a part of one. <laughs> It was going to be more than just right. that. It is a pretty small project. But well, you had your um, site visit up on East Hill? Yeah. We did. Um, yeah. Um, Chris and I were both there. We had um, our new road commissioner and our road foreman there. Okay. Um, and we had Michelle, uh, Michelle Redman from, from, from District 6. V, from yep. District 6 at VTrans. Yep, she's the managing director. And, and we had a great conversation, mm -hmm. I would say. Mm -hmm and have uh, a plan moving forward, I think, mm -hmm. to at least get a proposed site? one. Is that just one Well, site? no, that site will take up all of the grants and aid money. Um, and it will. For this year? No, well, no. for this fiscal year. This, yeah. this won't happen until next, next spring. summer, but the yeah, fiscal year doesn't summer. end until uh, June 31st. So, right. yeah. so um, uh -huh. and we could probably get an extension on the work if we want to. But. So we're it's planned for yeah. next summer. Yeah. We're working on it. Yeah. There's a, the VTrans will do a hydrological study for us because it does involve a culvert that uh, transports a brook from one side of the road to the other. It shouldn't have been on that side of the road. Yeah. Right. So it mm -hmm. actually is just sort of reconnecting an existing stream system. So they'll do a... Uh, uh, hydrological, hydrological study, okay. study. Yep. Oh. for free. I mean, they won't charge a town, and um, and then we'll use that. Um, and they'll also have suggestions on the size culvert, what type of culvert, etc. And um, Michelle Designing. will put together a report. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And we'll review it before put it up. Yeah. And this mm -hmm. is for this this fiscal, fiscal year. Um, Grants and aid project through the municipal general roads permit. Right. Mm. How about this other one out here with the school? Was there going to be another site visit on that one? Uh, well, that one of the for the infiltration basin. Yeah. That is, um, we had the person from the Central Mount Regional Planning Commission come, and 
he is now at work. I haven't heard anything from him, but um, you know, the next step is uh, implementation and what the Regional Planning Commission is doing is uh, trying to tag that work with a grant. And there'll probably be a matching grant, there'll probably be 20 or 10 percent that the town will need to contribute. But, um, so I assume that he's still working on uh, grants or is waiting for a cycle of grants. So I could contact him and and maybe just to see where they're at with that. Yeah. But, but nothing's going to happen until yeah. we get a grant. Yep. Pay for it. Mm -hmm. But we have had site visits and overview, and we mm -hmm. all agreed that it was a really good functional project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The design work has been the design done. work has been done. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can't think of any. I mean, the road crew is definitely getting ready for winter. Um, I think I saw that. F five fifty. The five fifty is. I noticed it back in the in the. It's back in the yard. It yeah. looks like a. Doesn't look like a. A truck that just had all that money poured into it. It's still pretty crappy looking, but oh well. It's <laughs> running. It's yeah. running fine yeah, apparently. Right. And so it's, we'll yeah. take advantage of the fact that it's running fine. We have people who are on it, mm -hmm. and they can yeah. tell us when things are going really poorly. Yeah. yeah. So far, mm -hmm. so good. Okay. Um, so, so without oh, go ahead. Um, Looks like we've covered everything. Executive, um, executive session. Yep. And yeah. I'm going to move us into an executive session, unless I have okay. other comments that need to be for public comment directly. Well, we did the inter emergency minute. We did that. We did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Yep. Okay. okay. So it is now 7.09, and I would like to move the Woodbury Select Board into executive session. Second. 